Kevin Farmer versus Tank Davis. How close are we to getting this mega unification scrap? Please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers. Leave us a comment. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another edition of the Hot Stove. So the much anticipated matchup. The awaited unification scrap between IBF champ Tevin Farmer and WBA champ Javante Tank Davis. The talk and the chatter is really starting to heat up. Um, it'd be a great super featherweight fight. Uh, I'm not sure where uh, we stand with this, but if the chatter is accurate and, and the money they're throwing around is true, we are going to have this fight. Y'all, we are going to get this fight. I promise you. If that money they're talking about, $5 million, $2 million, it... it, it that's way too much money for this fight not to happen. If those numbers are true, and we'll get into that, this fight's going to happen. The number of both fighters are going around, like I said, is, is $5 million for Tank and $2 million for Tevin. If that's true, this fight's getting made. Really, now the guy is turning down the fight. I think they want, right? This is a fight I think both guys want. Um, a guy, that, a fight that's been building for a while... A guy they, against they, that they don't particularly like, that they think they can beat for a career-high purse. Think about that. Fight I want, a fight with beef, a fight I think I can win for a career-high purse. Yeah, I'm taking that fight. That fight is getting made. Um, I was at the press conference when Hearn said he was going to offer Tank $5 million to fight Farmer. So I think that that's true. Um, I know that was the case because I, I, it was at the Baval Joe Smith Jr. post-fight presser. And Hearn said he was prepared to make a huge offer uh, to, to Tank to fight Tevin. And asked, you know, how much should I offer him? I shouted out $5 million. He said, I, I like that. I'm going to offer him $5 million. And he did. And $2 million for Tevin. Um, he didn't say $2 million for Tevin, but that's what's being reported now. So I, I think there's truth to that. Um, it would be a career high purse for both guys, and, and they should take it. Look, um... Farmer has been saying he wants Jojo Diaz next. And that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good fight. Um, Tevin wants the bigger fights. He wants better fights. And, and either Jojo or Tank represents that. But let's get real. Tank Davis is not staying at 130 for much longer. He's likely out fairly soon. Like, one more fight and he's gone. He, he's been talking about leaving. He's had problems making weight, this and that. That fight with JoJo is available. JoJo just moved up to 130 from 26, not that long ago, right? Um, that fight, the, the, the Joe Diaz fight will be available to Tevin, win, lose, or draw if he fights Tank next. If he loses to JoJo, there's no appeal in a Tank fight, and Tank will have likely left the division. So he can get both fights, Tank and JoJo, as long as he takes it in that order. So fight Tank next, because <laughs> you can get the Diaz fight afterwards. If you lose to Diaz, you can't get the Tank fight next. So your next move is to fight Tank Davis. Plus, the JoJo Diaz fight ain't paying no daggone $2 million. I promise you that. I promise you that he ain't getting no $2 million to fight JoJo Diaz. Uh-uh. No, sir. Not even close. Beat Tank Davis, and you become your own star then maybe you can get something close to that $2 million to fight JoJo. But you ain't getting JoJo $2 million to fight JoJo Diaz next. Not without unifying two straps, having a name like Tank Davis under your belt. Not, having that scalp, not without having that scalp. Look, look. Now the fight is easy. And I'm not necessarily picking Tank Day. Uh, I'm sorry. Neither fight is easy. And I'm not necessarily picking Tev to win either fight. I think Tevin could win either the Tank fight. Or the Jojo fight. I also think he could lose either fight, right? So both fights are great fights. Both fights are 50-50-ish. 50-50-ish. Because look, gun in my head. I got to lean one way or the other. I probably picked Tevin to win both those fights. Probably. Okay, but those are real tough fights to pick. Where I could easily, easily see myself being wrong on both of those. All those three guys are pretty close, pretty competitive. Um, but neither of those are easy fights. Um, I, I would... Probably, you know, and I could go back and forth on this, but in each one of those fights, I'd probably pick Tevin to win. Um, I also want to get into two more things. First, the fight's being rumored to be on pay-per-view. And, and, and that's ridiculous. This will bomb worse than you can imagine on pay-per-view. First off, 130-pounders don't have much 
drawing pay-per-view power. That really starts at 40 or 47. Really 47, but there are some exceptions at 40. Look, I know you can give me Pac Marquez did good numbers at 130. That was a different era. Uh, that was a long time ago, and neither one of these guys has the appeal of either of those names, right? Uh, Pac has, Pacquiao and Marquez are far bigger stars than Farmer and Tank. So let's be real. And I think that did about 300,000 pay-per-view sales. I, 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 you know, I think this fight does... You know, think about that. Pacquiao's a drastically bigger star than Tank, and Marquez is a drastically bigger uh, draw and star than Tevin is. So this fight's not comparable to that one. That one only did about 300,000. I think we are talking about 100,000 pay-per-view sales bad. Like, 100,000-ish, maybe less type numbers. This is an awful, rotten, no good idea. Terrible, 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 no good, stinking, horrible idea to make this pay-per-view. Neither guy really headlines, right? Mainly because they don't really fight good fighters. I mean, mostly they fight bums for the most part and washed up dudes and dudes that no one really cares about, right? Like, look at the names Tank Davis has fought since winning his title. He fought Pedraza, blew Pedraza out. Great win. Remarkable win, especially for a 22-year-old at the time. But look at who he's fought since then. Liam Walsh, fine. That's a victory lap. Whatever. No, no real problem with that. Francisco Fonseca. Come on. His only fight in 2017 was... Uh, Jesus Chelar, that's a featherweight who was over the hill and washed up. And then this year he fought uh, Hugo Ruiz earlier in the year, and then he fought Hugo Ruiz. That's a super bantamweight who isn't good. And then he fought Ricardo Nunez. I don't, I don't even know what that is. Like, what is that? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what. A, I don't know. I don't know. That's a two and a half year span. That's absurd. Over the last two and a half years, the best name by Miles Liam Walsh. Liam Welsh. Then he's got Francisco Fonseca, Jesus uh, Cellular, Hugo Boss, and Amanda Nunez. That's who he's beaten. I mean, this is insane. I mean, that, that is so embarrassingly bad. But let's look at who Kevin Farmer has beaten. He's won the belt off a dip. All right. Exactly a year ago, basically. It was back in August of, of 2018. Whatever. That's fine. That's who he had to beat. That, that's what the fight was called for. It was for a vacant WBO belt. Fine. Uh, the big IBF belt. Who cares? Okay. All right. Who has he fought since then? James Tennyson. There's, there's, there's a star. Francisco Fonseca. Again, what's the deal with this dude that he keeps getting these fights? John O'Carroll, who came up a draw with Guillermo Frenois. And then he fought Frenois, who had just come off a draw with Carroll. I mean, this you can't make this up. This is awful. I mean, th these resumes, since winning their titles, are ridiculous. You know, look, with Tevin, I love the activity, but what is that? He's a world champ. Let's be real. The best name on Tev's resume is Ivan Rudcash, which is impressive, right? Since, since Rudcash is knocking out full-blown welterweights in Devin Alexander. That's a good win. That came before he was a world champion. And look at the names, uh, look at the names Tennyson, Fonseca, Carroll, and Frenois that he's been since becoming a champ. Come on, Tev, you, I'm your biggest supporter. I loved your career, um, you know. It's movie star, movie script, Hollywood type stuff that he's been able to do. You know, getting shot in the hand, being an all-around great guy. Um, you know, having the four losses early in his career and then getting this far is, is amazing. But this resume is ridiculous. <laughs> These names after he's won his title is silly, right? It's almost as silly, maybe as silly as Tank Davis, which is uh, absurd. I mean, it's ridiculous, and that's two and a half years of Tank's career where he's fought jokes. You know, um, these guys got to fight better guys, right? They, they've got to fight better names. Jonah Carroll is a great fighter, right? That's the best name on uh, Tevin's resume since winning the title, and that was coming off a draw. The best name on... Tank Davis's resume since beating Pedraza over the last two and a half years is who? You got a bantam weight, you got a super bantam weight, a, a featherweight, Ricardo Nunez, Francisco Fonseca, and Liam Walsh. I guess the best name is Liam Walsh. I mean, dude, <laughs> come on. I mean, this is not, this isn't funny. This is, I mean, it's one of those things. If you didn't laugh, you'd cry at their resume. How are these dudes there fighting the Francisco Fonseca? How's he getting two title shots? Think about that. Right? I mean, that's insane. Um, General Carroll, I like. I think he's a good fighter. I don't know if he'll ever get a world title, but he'll get close. He's a good fighter. And, and, and 
That, that was a really competitive fight. The only thing holding this up, the only thing holding up a Tank Davis versus Tevin Farmer, IBF, and WBA unification bout is what's in the other man's pocket, right? Tevin thinks Tank is being paid too much. And Tank thinks Tevin's being paid too much, right? Tevin's like, the five million is too much. Imagine, unironically, being more concerned with what's in the other guy's pocket than signing on to a fight you want, you think you can win, for the biggest purse of your, the biggest purse of your career, which is more than you've expected to make for that fight. You're getting everything in a fight you want and a fight you think you can win. And, and both guys are reasonable to think that they can win this fight. This is not Mikey Garcia thinking he can beat Errol Spence. Devin Farmer can certainly beat Tank Davis. Flip that around, Tank Davis can certainly beat Tevin Farmer. Now, one of them got a little bit, they both have the ability, right? Both guys are extremely talented. I, 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 I know I'm coming off like, I, I don't like these guys. I love both these guys. I think Tank is a super, super talent, and I think Tevin Farmer has one of the highest ring IQs in boxing, right? You may not like the way Tevin fights. I do. I, I wish he would sit down on his power a little more. I, I think his power is better than he shows, right? Like, I think he's got some snap on his punches. I, I don't think Tank can just walk through his punches and steam him. I, I think Tevin can sit down and fire off. He just doesn't fight that way, right? Like, late in Floyd's career, Floyd didn't get any knockouts because Floyd didn't really sit down on his punches. He'd sit down on some straight right hands, but he never really put them together, so he didn't really get any knockouts. That doesn't mean Floyd's power wasn't good. Floyd's power was fine, right? Shane Mosley said Floyd's power was the same as Canelo's. And he had a... Bunch of shots from both those guys. So he's 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 a, he's a good witness. Uh, he'll he can that's a, that's a solid witness to, to give that testimony. Um, but I, imagine being so concerned with what the other guy is making that you're gonna delay or not sign the biggest fight of your life for the biggest payday of your life in a fight you want against the guy you don't like because you think he's making more than he should. Why do you care what he makes? You're getting, if you're Tevin Farmer, you're getting $2 million. Sign on the line that is dotted immediately. Don't ask any questions. Obviously, you know, have your lawyers and your legal team look at it, but, you know, <laughs> you want to sign that piece of paper. And the same thing, we're taking $5 million, Tank? Sign it. Why, I don't understand why this is not signed. Like, let, let, you can make it contingent upon X, Y, and Z details, but go get your money. That money's being offered to you. Right? If that money's guaranteed, take that money. Again, I don't like it being on pay per view. I'll buy it because I'm an idiot, right? But if that money's guaranteed to you, you need to take it because you ain't getting $5 million to fight the uh, James Tennysons or Francisco Fonseca's of the world or, 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 or Sayu Law or Hugo Boss and Amanda Nunez. You're not getting that kind of money to fight those guys. You, I'm shocked that you're getting this much money for this fight. It's just, it, it doesn't seem like there's, there's that much appeal in 130 pounders. But if, if, if that's being offered to you, both of y'all got to jump at this. Let me know what you think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers. Share on all forms of social media. Let us know, do you think this fight's going to happen and who do you pick? Um, and do you think it's insane that the other guy's purse is, is what's holding this up? For another episode of The Hot Stove, this is 3D Boxing from Texas to the world saying thank you and God bless. Enjoy 3D Boxing vlog videos? Show us some love by clicking the like button. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3dboxingvlog.com is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.